Welcome back. My name is Flo. I am a professional artist from Germany and today I want to show you my biggest project and why I painted one year instead of two weeks. Finally, I arrived here at the project after a five hour drive from my hometown Frankfurt to where I am right now. And the project is a hotel, so let me just flip the camera around and let's go inside. I show you some impressions from the hotel. Let's talk about the project. And to be honest, I could talk about for hours about that project, but I'm trying to keep the long story short and give you some information about this great one year project. But before I start with the subject of painting, we need to go back in time to the day when I just got mail from the hotel. In this mail, the client was asking if I could paint a wall in the hotel where the kids can play. And the question is, why not? And as this dialogue just continued, it just came out that it's a five hour drive from my hometown to the hotel, which is pretty difficult because I got to plan many things in detail and then pack my stuff right to the hotel. But we decided to make it and they just explained okay we are a hotel you can paint here and you can also live here you can sleep here you can eat you can take a swim you can go to sauna you can go to the fitness center and many things more and i was like painting in a hotel is not that bad so i just decided to make it I planned the project, I packed my car and drove to the hotel. And as we were standing in front of the wall, like me, the hotel manager and the hotel owner, the hotel owner just tapped me on my shoulder and said, okay, so I just want you to be free. I don't want any sketch before. I don't want any detailed planning. I just told you what I want and please go to the wall and let your creative mood flow. And I was like, well, I was like shocked because this is something like freestyle and I'm not very good at freestyling on the wall, painting a big mural, but I just decided to do it. So I just painted a few days on the wall to finish this first landscape mural. And there was another thing to be painted. There is a local carpenter who just built every piece in this floor where the kids can play. It looks like a tiny castle where the kids can climb around and find things out and just having fun by playing around. The plan was basically to paint all this wood which was built by the carpenter to look like it's stone. It's like a old castle, like a mystic thing. Just like the mural of the landscape that I did before because the buildings and the murals should match and it should look like a overall scenery which is just nice and crispy. And I just did my job and things went out very well. And as I just finished all the paintings like the mural with the landscape and everything that the carpenter has built, we just stand in front of the painting like once again like me the manager and the owner of the hotel and we were standing there and he was like "Ooh, this looks so good what about painting the entire floor and i was like oh, oh, oh. shocked i mean i wasn't shocked but it was like silence for a few seconds 
it felt like minutes to me. But actually, the silent wasn't just about minutes, but it, it felt like. And after the silence, I just said, yes, we can do it, but this is a lot of work. This is very expensive and we need more time to plan this thing. And he was like, okay, let's do it. And after painting two weeks for the scenery that I just built at the first step, this project just came out to be a one year painting job for me, just to finish the entire floor with paintings. And here is just one fact. It's very difficult to paint different walls when the walls aren't just like exactly the same. Like you have this wall, which is like four meters by two meters, and you have this wall, which is like five meters by two meters. No, the entire floor is like crooked. Everywhere are corners and edges, and it's very hard to make that painting look like it matches together when I just painted it in different times. So I just followed a few rules to make the entire artwork looking great. Okay, before I tell you the rules that I followed along to make a really nice looking artwork, I just want you to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done yet. It helps to make the community bigger and just having a great time together. Smash that like button, it changes the color if you do so, I promise. And of course, if no one's told you today, you're an absolute legend. The first is the golden ratio, which is like when you design something and you don't put the subject right in the center of the picture, put it a little bit on the left side or on the right side, about one third of the image. This trick just makes the image look more interesting. To get more information about the golden ratio, go to Google, type in golden ratio and get some information. Or just write here a comment if you want to see another video about the golden ratio. The second thing is the placement. And when I say placement, I mean where are the mountains, where are the trees and where are the rocks and everything else. It's like a landscape isn't just a flat thing. You just have mountains in the background and mountains in the foreground and then trees and maybe a building. And it's very helpful to overlap some mountains and trees in front of each other, just to make sure that there is distance in the image. For example, in a few paintings, I just painted the landscape with mountains and trees. And after this was finished, I just placed a big tree trunk in front of the image. That creates a depth and makes the painting more interesting. Three is my color selection. And as I just had the conversation with the hotel manager and the owner, and they were like, okay, we just want a mystic scenery, almost like a fairy tale scenery, but more dark and not so vibrant. So for me, it was very important to catch this impression. And you maybe think, okay, what's special about that? You need blue for the sky, you need green for the trees, you need brown for the mountains and yes I agree but I just made a color selection which matched totally to a landscape mural just something like this but the colors shouldn't be so vibrant and so brilliant because the client just want a mystic look so I just needed to mute the colors a little bit down just like this but already enough to make it believable that these colors are like natural colors, like they are matching in a landscape. One thing I really, really loved about painting this entire floor was not especially painting the landscapes, but more like painting the wood and painting the castle. Something that is made out of wood just make it look like stone. Just add a little bit of structure and find the right colors, which are like natural. That's what I really love to do. I mean, painting landscapes is cool, but painting objects and make them look old and fancy is what really reminds me back in the days when I worked as a scenery painter. 
I mean, some of you just know me and you know what I did in the past to make a living with art. It was basically working in a theater and painting backdrops and painting furniture and stuff like that, which was placed on the stage by a role play. Okay, this was just 10 years back in the past, but as time just flies by, I'm like making my own art business for like four years right now. I am just happy to have the opportunity to work on something like I did at the theater back in the days. When you're painting a tiny mushroom house, it's pretty sweet. But if you add a cute face, it's way more sweeter. And so many people are walking beside the house when I paint and they stand still and they say how sweet this tiny house is. Isn't that cute? I could imagine you want to know how this thing looks like right now when it's finished. And I don't want to waste your precious time. So lean back, get yourself a delicious drink and enjoy the impressions of the finished hotel painting. Okay, I just want to tell you that the entire floor is very dark and it was very difficult to just get the right footage and the right lightning. But anyways, enjoy it. Okay. What? God, I forgot something. See you next time.